Hello friends, welcome back to Meridian Overseas. Today, I am here to update you all regarding the latest immigration changes in Australia. COVID-19 concession period ends. The Australian government through the Department of Home Affairs stated that the COVID-19 concession term will end on November 25, 2023. Many visa applicants were given various reliefs as a result of pandemic-imposed travel restriction and a poor economic climate. With the easing of foreign travel limitations, these exemptions must come to an end in order to make room for a properly regulated immigration system and to avoid exploitation of those concessions. Family Visas During the COVID-19 era, certain family program visas received location-based exemptions. Applicants for partner or child visas who have been in Australia at any point throughout the concession's validity are eligible for a visa in the nation. In any event, these arrangements do not apply to applicants who were outside of Australia throughout the concession period. Temporary Graduate Visa Beginning November 2023, all new applications for the Temporary Graduate Visa program must be lodged in Australia. Nonetheless, further entry applications would be lodged from both outside Australia and Australia. Changes to Employer-Sponsored Visa Stream Visa nomination in effect from November 25, 2023, TSS visa holders had worked for their sponsoring firm or in certain vocations for two of the previous three years. Work cutbacks as a result of COVID-19 will no longer be included toward work experience requirements. Age exemptions will also be phased out soon. Regional Skilled Visa Subclass 887 Concession for the subclass 887 visas are available to qualifying skilled professional visa holders during the COVID-19 concession period. Applicants must currently log in from within Australia and meet the standard working and regional residence standards. Other interim measures of this visa category also result in termination. COVID-19 exemptions for various visa categories including employer-sponsored visa, skilled regional visa, family visa, business innovation visa and graduate visa have been removed from Australia's immigration policy. These revisions represent a return to normalcy in immigration affairs following the pandemic. So that's it for today. If you have any queries regarding the Australia study visa process or for immigration part, do comment below. You can also visit our website. And if you want to in person, then you can visit any one of our branches. We are giving free counselling to the students. For more updates, like the video, subscribe the channel and don't forget to press the bell icon.